Hello everyone. Welcome back to History Revealed. Thank you for joining me today for this week's edition. Now, today I'll be highlighting some notable achievements of a pair of sisters by the name of Blackwell, who were originally from England and made their way across the pond to America and settled in Ohio. That's right. If you're thinking of Elizabeth and Emily Blackwell, you would be correct. In the 1840s, Elizabeth Blackwell became the first female to be admitted to a medical school. She went to Geneva Medical College in upstate New York, where she obtained an MD degree, judging pretty much by today's standards, curriculum-wise anyway. Now, there were actually females who practiced medicine before Elizabeth, and quite frankly, very openly as well, but they just didn't go down the traditional academic path, if you will, that Elizabeth and her younger sister Emily went down. Emily Blackwell obtained her own medical degree from an institution that would later become the Case Western Reserve University in Cleveland, Ohio, and she became the third female to obtain an MD. While Elizabeth was in Geneva, she was of course met with rejection and hilarity, and the townspeople of Geneva could not figure out why in the world a female would want to get a medical degree. They thought that if a woman thought that way, they were either wicked or completely insane. Lovely. But she persevered and continued. Elizabeth mainly focused her career on public health and education, while Emily became a surgeon and an obstetrician. In 1857, the sisters together helped establish the New York Infirmary for Indignant Women and Children, and also established the Women's Medical College in New York City. The Geneva Medical College was, of course, all male, and when the boys found out that Elizabeth wanted to join the ranks and study medicine, they were absolutely appalled. And they thought it was a joke by some other neighboring medical college. Well, the boys themselves wanted to have a little fun with the professors and the admissions. And so the next morning, they all gathered together on a united front and said, yes, we would absolutely love to study with this female. Well, several weeks had gone by and they kind of forgot about what they did. And in comes Elizabeth Blackwell waltzing right into the lecture room. So the last laugh was hers. Perhaps a little surprisingly, Elizabeth Blackwell had no interest in joining any of the women's suffrage movements that was going on at the time, even though to them, she seemed like an absolute pioneer in so many aspects that they wanted her to join them, to join their mission. But Elizabeth believed that women could do anything they set their minds to by virtue of their talent, and it had absolutely nothing to do with their sex. I can understand that. Elizabeth and Emily died within months of each other in 1910, and there were large crowds that gathered at the New York Academy of Medicine to honor their lives. Elizabeth was laid to rest at the St. Munns Parish Church in Scotland, and Emily was buried at the Abel Hill Cemetery, or what is also known as Chilmark Cemetery, in Dukes County, Massachusetts. So there you have it. There's some history about the Sisters Blackwell. There's so much more information out there, and I definitely encourage you to read a little bit more about their lives. There is a new book out that is called, I'll read it here, The Doctors Blackwell, How Two Pioneering Sisters Brought Medicine to Women and Women to Medicine by Janice P. Nimira. And I will definitely be putting that on my book list that is probably over five miles long now, but that's okay. I'll get through them eventually. If you like this episode, please subscribe to the History Revealed channel, or just give me a thumbs up for this video or any of the other videos that I have recorded. So much history out there. I'm so excited to continue the series. And if you have any questions, comments, or maybe ideas for future episodes, 
just shoot me an email at histreveal at gmail.com. That's H-I-S-T reveal at gmail.com. Until next week, everybody, stay warm, stay safe, and have a good night.